We had a lot of conversations. We had a lot of real conversations, honest conversations about his life, about growing up. What's it like when the cops come up and throw you on the ground just because you're in a different place than where you grew up or where you're from and you just look differently? What does that do to somebody's psyche? And, and it, messed, it messed them up, you know what I mean, as kids. And it made them harder. It made them want to fight more. It made them want to, it made them hungry. You know what right. I mean? The finger was on a hot topic in the 80s, in the early 90s. And it's still a hot topic today. The essence of it was always just his honesty and his truthfulness. He was just tired of seeing all of the, you know, the stuff around him. It took a lot for Dre to walk away from death row. It took a lot to start over. It was about always staying one step ahead, always pushing the curb. He was doing things at that age that a lot of producers today can't even wrap their mind around. Just hit that first beat hard, all right? You cruising down the street. He's always playing chess. He's always looking around the situation, gathering everybody else's thoughts, everybody else's motives, so he could plan his next move. At the Jerry Heller situation with the contract, when you're 17, 18, it takes a lot for you to say goodbye to you. more money than you ever seen in your life to just throw it away because of how you feel as a man that you're not gonna let somebody just handle you any type of way. You know, he had that at a young age and he never bowed down to anyone. It's all about having that demeanor that ain't nobody gonna tell me how to do me. That's how he's always been. Yo, Trey. What up? I got something to say. Easy was, he wasn't overconfident, but he was very strategic. And he knew how to find ways to capitalize off really bad situations. And it was a gift that he always had, and he was very controversial. It may have hurt, you know, to have things go on with money or business, but at the end of the day, they never felt like their brother wanted to take from them. You know, he's, he's changed so many lives, including mine. Cruising down the street in my 6'4". Hey, that was dope, eh? That shit was dope, man. You, know, you guys freestyle at all? <laughs> <laughs> Not for free. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>